Mrs. Westby and I teach art and design and I'm here to tell you about GCSE art and design. Um, if you're thinking about why you should take GCSE art and design, um, it's a very popular course. If you're a creative person, this might be a good option for you. Um, it gives you a really good opportunity to explore the visual world and art has got so many transferable skills such as organisation, project management, creative thinking and obviously the practical side of making as well. Um, it will give you the opportunity to produce several projects and it will really stretch and challenge your imagination and your creative thinking. Um, what we actually do in GCSE Art Design is teach you how to create a whole project or a learning journey. So from an initial starting point where we will look at drawings and look at different artists that might inspire us who work in the same kind of theme um, to start to explore different materials materials, you'll come up with your own ideas and then the project will culminate in a final piece that you will produce. Um, we really encourage you to experiment and explore with lots and lots of different materials in GCSE art. So we'll do things like painting, drawing, printmaking, wire, pastels, clay, mixed media and even some photography as well. So there should be something for everybody that they kind of feel they can get along with and they enjoy using. Um, art teaches you resilience. Um, it encourages you to challenge yourself and to develop new ideas, to try new things. There is an emphasis on you to be willing to work outside of the classroom. Um, so we would expect you to be willing to come to extracurricular clubs and to take your work home regularly to work on your portfolio and to develop it further. Um, and I must emphasise that art is a time-consuming GCSE. Um, you have to really enjoy art. Uh, it's challenging, it's a lot of work, but it's fun work. And if you're prepared to put those hours in, you're gonna get a really good outcome as well. In terms of how you will be assessed at GCSE, we have 60% coursework and 40% exam. So in year 10, when you start, we begin our first project and that will take you through to the summer term. And then we start the second project in that summer term. And then in year 11, we finish that second project and your exam comes out in the January. Um, and the exam, as we said, is worth 40%. So with the exam project, you would have usually between 10 and 12 weeks to put together a unit of work um, and then you'll have 10 hours of under exam conditions to produce the final piece that you've designed um, based on your, your 10 week project. I chose art as a subject because it was one of my favourite things to do in my primary school. It's a great skill to have. What I like the most is that the teachers will help you when you need it. It helps bring up your confidence and your skill. When I leave school, I plan to be a Lego designer, which involves a lot of creativity and being able to design. From a young age, I enjoyed art and making things from the recycling at home. The amount of glue and sellotape my parents used to buy me was absolutely ridiculous. Artists change the way I look at everyday objects. The work you do is personal to you, and you can create it how you want to. If you want to paint the sea yellow, do it. If you want to paint a tree purple and blue, why not? It's all about how you see things which will be different to the person next to you. You're only limited by your imagination. I don't think there's a single topic within the art lessons that I haven't enjoyed. We've learned about different artists, continuous line drawings, colour washing, using pastels, paint and pencils. The list goes on. The teachers are pretty good too. So if you're thinking about where art's going to take you in the future, obviously it can take you to further education, so onto A-levels or foundation courses. Um, in terms of a career, there's so much that art can give you. Um, it can lead to things like animation, illustration, graphic design, web design, game design, architecture, fashion and textiles, um, costume and set design, teaching. The options are endless really, um, so it, there's lots and lots of career opportunities out there for you that really value art and design. And um, if you want any more information about the course, obviously you can speak to me or any of the other art teachers and you can have a really good look in the options booklet and that should hopefully answer any of your questions. Thank you ever so much. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.